Well, welcome back to some more Slay the Spice. We're on Ascension 8 as the silence. I gotta say, this build just kept swapping all over the place, right? So we have Panache, right? So I thought, okay, we'll go after Zero Cost, which we are basically. Then we got the Snakeroot Skull, so I thought, all right, I'll grab Poison. Then we end up having somewhat of a small deck because I am halfway through Act 2 here. So then I thought we got Grand Finale and I thought that was actually going to be finally possible because we also have, you know, Bag of Preparation and then the Ring. So we start with Mass Hand. If we could cut some more cards, right, we could we could confidently Grand Finale almost every single time. But here's, here's where we've ended up, right? Choke, a whole bunch of shivs and just good damage, right? I think I think the one extra card into Panache is better than the Choke, right? Is that, is that correct in my thoughts? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's Choke, Panache, Infinite Blade, uh, Backflip for more resources, right? And then Storm. We have decent armor anyway. This is going to do decent chunk of damage. Maybe I should be a little bit more defensive. But that's that's a great deal of damage. All right. This turn, not so great. Uh, I'm not even sure if we have enough damage here. We do not. All right, well, I'm definitely drinking that. So, I, I feel somewhat confident about this build, right? We have the accuracy as well. Why? Where am I taking damage from? Out of curiosity. Ah, pain. That is... That is not a good one to have. Lizard Tail, though, uh, is fairly decent. Prepared, because we do have the uh, Tactician. It's a minus one. I almost just want the other Tactician. Right, yeah, Storm. Storm is discard, but then you can't really use it anyway. I guess prepared is the better option. All right, removal strikes receive some bites. We're already low on HP anyway, so I think that's pretty decent. All right, this might be a toughish fight, but we get a decent enough start. So we can go Panache, prepared. We can definitely get rid of the Tactician. And do, do, do. what am I not playing? I should probably play the Survivor. Right, one, two, three. Four, five. No, I'm not playing the survivor. All right, and then we go accuracy, broken daggers, infinite blades, deflect for a little bit more armor, and then we just wail on the healer. I want to say. I don't know if that's absolutely correct. Uh, Panache is only doing ten, right? Yeah, so I got to have to play one more. It's a bit of a waste. Oh well. At least they're done for, and we block the the knight's attacks. All right, then we go choke, neutralize, slice, deflect, shiv, and a bite for enough damage. So as long as we don't get the timekeeper, I feel very, very happy with this build. Another backflip. I don't think I need another backflip. I think it weighs down the cards I'm actually looking for. Ooh, that's double pain, isn't it? No, it's Wrath. Wrath is actually way worse because it ruins our starting hand. Hmm, what do I even need to upgrade? I don't think there's anything I actually need to upgrade. Like, it's just more damage, so to speak. So I think I'm going to take the safety rest here. We definitely need to try and get a bit more gold and hit shops. I mean, we can storm it almost every time. So I guess that's not too bad. No panache, unfortunately. Uh, we just want straight damage. So it's definitely the bites since they're higher damage. Infinite blade and then storm. Yeah. Without our buffs, it's it's not great, but it's still decent. Oh, no panache again. I'll take the armor. Grab the prepared. We can get rid of that. I want to play the actually. I probably want to play the slices. We do have a decent chunk of HP. So maybe this is fine. We do have to pick them apart. Uh, I can burn one. I guess it's kind of worth it. And say I'm going to get buffed now. All right, so the panache should come here. Yeah, so if it's... Oh, nope, still no panache. If it's not in our opener, definitely feels a little bad. There's plenty of damage. I should have actually choked the boss, I think. Probably would have had enough damage. Still clear. There's the panache. All right, so we can do that. Uh, the shivs now do more damage, so we do want to storm. And we're doing 10. That should be enough damage. Alright, taking you a little bit. Also getting debuffed. Really haven't done much to the boss, though. 
unfortunately. Bed, we can get rid of that. And yes, we're able to defend. We'll backflip. Really hoping for zeros, but oh well. Bites. Bites. Actually, I should have done that earlier. Get rid of the pain. 37 is not fun. At least we have the ships here. Only a decent damage turn. Still not very great. But they're buffing. Uh, we don't do enough damage, I think. I definitely want to play... Mm, I don't know how I feel about this turn. We might actually be in a bad position here. Hmm. Hopefully we can get through this. A 29 is very worrisome. Even with the resources we have. The choke was probably not the right call. Alright, but we do survive. A bit barely. It's just, it's just Storm, I guess. And we do get one extra turn too, which is nice. He's buffing. No, he's not summoning. Never mind, we're screwed. And we have pain. Yeah, well, never mind. This seemed like a, a fun start. But I'm glad I started halfway. There goes the lizard tail. We do survive. Barely. Bed is minus one card, so it's not worth it. We have enough damage here. Thank god. But yeah, we're a little worse for wear, unfortunately. I'm gonna skip. One extra resource, no longer see intent. I guess the runic dome? Tent does help out, but once you get to the point of just playing whatever, right? Does it really matter? It's not the timekeeper, so there is a chance. I definitely want to hit the shop. And then safety campfires, most likely. Means that that's not the greatest shot, but we'll go here first and see. Right, no spikes is really nice too, though. We do have the deflects, we have Wrythe. Well, I mean, I'm just playing everything anyway, right? I guess it's prepared first in case I got something better. And get rid of the deflects at this point, because I should have enough resources. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Alright, infinite blades, cloak, accuracy. Uh, I guess we'll deal with the exploder. And that should hopefully be enough armor. Dazes, dazes, alright. That's somewhat fine. Yeah, so it's yeah, it's basically just play our entire hand at this point. And hope. <laughs> nine nine, that's not horrible. Ashe, choke. Slice. Ah, uh, we're one card short, unfortunately. Never mind. We have the resources, just don't have the right cards to play. We need a little bit more draw now that we have the resources. At least that's enough damage, though. I can't tell, is pain. Well, I'm taking acrobatics. Is pain going. Does pain go through armor? I feel we can do this. Yeah, we have flex as well. Just give me a good opening hand. Yeah. Yeah, we can deal with this. Get rid of pain. I don't care that the hand is full. Actually, I kind of do. We'll play better. So I'm going to fight them. Alright. We play infinite blade first, take the one damage from the pain. Actually, I can see. Yeah, okay, so it does straight damage, which is annoying. Get rid of tactician, we get rid of pain. Better get rid of pain, because we're going to play a bunch of cards here. Uh, Shivs are only doing four at the moment, so our raw attacks are better. I definitely still want to play the defend. Slice is better too. Everything's better, kind of. Yeah, but I can't play, oh, I can't play everything. No, I can't play one of the bites. I could have. Fashe would have really helped you. At least we have the starting armor, though. Burns are less than great. Yeah, this is not going good. 
It's no good if we don't draw correctly. Which we're not. I didn't need the armor. So close in the damage. I should have. I should have flexed earlier, but I thought we might, we might have had the damage there. Oof. Not enough. Don't do, don't do an insane amount of damage. Alright, we live. Not a good life, though. Was that worth it? Winked boots. Uh, you know what? We can. We can utilize that to skip around. And definitely hit a bunch of campfires. I also go to the shop. Oh, Gremlin Horn is really nice, but so is the discounts. So is Finisher. Finisher could be really good. Well, it's definitely that. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna grab the Ritual Potion. Because if we get to the end, the Ritual Potion is really good. Statistic Nature was also... Oh, actually, we don't have that many debuffs. Uh, I don't want to hit the campfires. So I think I'm gonna come to this one and then beeline to the other one. And hopefully these are not bad question marks. Who's neutralized is definitely the least there, I think. So we'll get a uh, weak. We only have 11 gold. Yeah, definitely. All right, here to campfire. Definitely rest up. And we're going to swap over to this path. I feel confident. I do feel confident. Yes, and we got the easy one too. Uh, and we got Anisha. Problem is we won't get enough gold for this shop. Uh, is there a correct... What's the correct order? Correct order is prepared first, I believe. Doors 2, you get a Wraith. Eh, eh. And deflect, because it's not going to attack first anyway. Panache. Uh, I want Acrobatics. I believe I have the right amount of cards. Either way, we can Infinite Blades, then Acrobatics. Then we can get over Defend. We can definitely play Accuracy. We can play the Cloak and Daggers. Shiv. We might, we'll probably pop this first time around anyway. I think it's still better to go bite. Slice. Finish here. 6 by 4 is 24 versus 30 damage. So no, Storm of Steel is better. Uh, I shouldn't have played the bite. But I also don't want to pop it. And 24 does not pop it. 24 does pop it. No, no, 70. 24 does not pop it. Is this the right hand to pop it, though? I almost feel like we could do more damage, but oh well. We get the Panache as well. Yeah, 15. 15 is doable. Mainly because we can just pop these. Super easy. Uh, got about the pain. At least Bite helps us through it. Which I do want. Alright, was it worth it? Additional card reward. It's not that great. Escape plan is just a free cycle. And maybe armor. I'm not going to hit the shop because we need 75 for it. So I'm going to just rest up. Grab another curse. Bottled flame. Uh, choke or finisher. Chance that finisher pays off more in the early. Take the question mark, which is a shop. And we do have removal. So what are our curses? Right. Doubt. Doubt's not horrible. Uh, I think the guaranteed start is worse, right? We have ways to discard, so I can get rid of pain eventually. Guaranteeing another attack that we start with is also really good, because of finisher. But taking the infinite blade is also... For the long run, I feel like infinite blades is better. Right, because then we hit another campfire. Uh, we, we'll do an elite. This is a good elite to have, actually. Oh, we got the infinite blades anyway. Yeah, so we go Infinite Blade, Infinite Blade, Acrobatics, get rid of Doubt, but I want to get rid of Tactician. Is it better to just get rid of the Tactician? I think it's better to get rid of just the Tactician. Escape Plan, and then we can go Slice, Backflip, Accuracy, Head, get rid of that, and I guess it Defend. Fortunately, Choke is a bit late. But it's not worth choking. Finishes not as much damage as I would have liked. Oh well. Still felt like a good turn. There's the Panache. 
a little bit defense. Uh, bites are doing less. But then Shiv. I'm just gonna storm here. I'll hold on to the shivs. We'll get them back anyway. Two turns left. Acrobatics. Discard a defend. We can choke. It's worth preparing. Either way, I'm playing the shivs. And the slice. And we'll play the extra card. Why not? Get a down tactician. That worked out kinda nicely. Right, and then bite. Bite. I should have gained armor first. I hate counting cards and making sure we're discarding the right one. Alright. Let's see if we can manage. Escape plan. Backflip. Perfect. Uh, into deflect. Into slice. Into bite. Into bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fine here. I don't even need the finisher. First attack each combat. Ah, God. The guaranteed extra infinite blade for Panache, or the extra six damage. Ooh, the infinite blades might bite me in the ass. But it's too fun to pass up. Three extra shivs every single round. Uh, do I take the extra camp? Do I take the extra elite? We might as well use it, right? So I'm going to take the campfire. We'll heal up. And then depending how this goes, we can heal or not heal. Alright, so... It's mainly just set up. Overall. I don't get to keep finisher if we storm steal, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna armor up. Yeah. Didn't take any damage, so that's good. Yeah, see now we get to choke. Get to throw out a bunch of shivs. I should probably acrobatics first. And we just have a ton of draw to find what we want to find. We only have two resources. Or the defender and a bite. Alright, so we're definitely playing them. I should gain a little armor. Nope, never mind, we did enough damage. A regen potion. Well, I want the draw. I kind of want the distilled chaos. I feel like all three of these end up being better. Tactician has another way to discard, or another guaranteed starting card with finisher. Goes away. Uh, I will take the cloak and dagger though. Alright, and we're at full HP, so we are upgrading, probably finisher. And I feel like we should be fine. At the very least, we should have the damage to, to deal with the little ones at the start here. We are definitely going all out from the get-go. Uh, Shay, uh, you are going to strengthen every skill though, right? That's not that great. Blade, infinite blade, infinite blade. Play top three. Dagger. Backstab on you. Slice on you. Shiv on you. I need to do it there. I don't want to waste the draw. I kind of want to use the draw in the second phase. I mean, we have a ton of armor, so I can I can sort of play this one a bit slower. And they're gonna buff anyway. The amount of strength we've given it is a bit of a worry, though. I feel like we'll be fine. Maybe not. That was a big hit. This was also played in the slightly incorrect. Pain. Need the armor. Who's prepared? You're a tactician. And deflect. Uh, do, do, do. I think I still need to keep the armor going. Yeah. Oh, we might not have this. Especially with pain in the hand at the moment. I feel like we overbuffed it at the start. I can buy one turn. 44 is not enough. Should have 
bits. Eh. Eh. We need to do a ton of damage, and we don't have a ton of damage. We kind of have a ton of damage. Uh, it's, it's most likely attacking, it's most likely the end. I don't think a heal matters. I probably should have slowed played it a little bit more. I am I am almost 100% sure it's going to attack. It always attacks straight away. Let's let's slow play it. Maybe not buff it up as much and wait for ritual to kick in and maybe save distilled and the other potion. I think that's probably a bit better. Now I get to strength. It's fine. Infinite blades, which is the real problem. I still gotta play all three. It's just so much damage over the long run. Alright, but we will focus on them. Hmm. How did we do more without playing the cards? I was a little confused by that. Now it's not great. Weak next turn. Also a decent chunk of armor. Ooh, we're also taking way more damage. Uh, yeah. Okay, the... The power plays are the issue here. Significant issue. I basically need to change its its phase here again. I think just doesn't quite work. Actually, we might have enough damage. We have plenty. Tactician. Am I really getting rid of Storm Steel? Look close. I mean, surely that's enough armor to survive. Surely, right? Surely? I don't trust it. If we die, we die. Ah, oh, we lived. Alright, well, I definitely want to heal as much as possible. Let's just finish it. Hmm. Joke is good play. A little bit of block is fine. I still don't think we have enough damage here. One, two, three, four. Ah! That's annoying. I mean, we still get life per attack. That is really bad. Still a decent chunk of damage. And then, yeah. Fatality. Alright, so... <laughs> that is... Just something I should have clued in on, right? I, I did not realize a game strength for every power we use. And then, well, I continue to load up on on the, uh, what are they called? Infinite Blades, right at the end there. Thinking, oh yeah, with Finisher, we could do something really cool here. Then with Panache. And also the deck was a little bit too big, right? To find the actual cards that we wanted to, to hit and start with. Yeah, I definitely didn't need all Infinite Blades. Uh, maybe I could have won that without the infinite blades. I really want poison though, because it's the second time getting the Sneko Skull, and it just seems quite fun. Anyway, we gave it a go. Uh, can't win them all. 
we'll have to redo Ascension 8. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.